If there's one thing you need to know about sleep is that it really hates to be chased. If you let it come to you instead, you'll get to sleep much faster. It's so important to wait until you're very sleepy to get into bed. If you go to bed too early, it puts a lot of pressure on your body to sleep, and that can result in performance anxiety, frustration, fear, and any of those things is going to trigger the body's stress response, which comes with adrenaline. Adrenaline is really designed to keep you awake, and you want to stay out of that cycle as best you can. Another great way to fall asleep quickly is to distract yourself at bedtime with a restful activity. If you give yourself a place to park your mind that's calm, then your body takes a cue that you're safe and it's okay to go to sleep and it's going to take you there. Some examples of things you might want to do, you could do a crossword on paper, you could do a craft project, you could even watch an old movie. That's a great way to just stop that train of thoughts when you're trying to fall asleep. My favorite tip for distracting yourself is to read fiction. It pulls you out of yourself and puts you someplace else so that you don't really have time or space for all that other stuff that revs you up. Another great trick is to take a warm shower or bath about 90 minutes before you want to go to bed. That raises the body temperature quickly, which then prompts it to cool very quickly. When you're normally going to sleep, your core temperature drops, and that's what actually helps us to feel sleepy. So helping that along with a warm shower or bath, plus the relaxation effect of hydrotherapy is a great way to help that process along. My grandma always went to bed with a hot water bubble at her feet. I didn't understand why she did that. I thought she just wanted it to feel a little warmer in her bed, maybe save on heat costs. But it turns out that that strategy actually helps you fall asleep more quickly because when you heat your feet, it cools your core body temperature and that signals that it's time to fall asleep and helps make you sleepy. If you're not into the water bottle, you can try socks, they work too. It's so important to follow a consistent sleep schedule. Our bodies perform so much better when they're in a rhythm and they can be on autopilot. The best way to jumpstart that is by getting up at the same time every day, even on weekends, as hard as that is to do. What that does is it sets the body clock so that when you're ready to go to bed at night, you'll be sleepy. The body will start to tell you when it's been up long enough and when it wants to go to sleep. Another great bedtime trick is the four, seven, eight breathing exercise. This is a breathing exercise that signals to your parasympathetic nervous system to calm the body and get out of a stress response. The way you do this is you exhale fully and then you inhale slowly in your abdomen for the count of four. Then you hold your breath or pause for a count of seven and then you exhale for the count of eight. It's important to think about it as a calming strategy instead of a sleep aid, because if you put too much pressure on it to put you to sleep, you might become frustrated if it takes too long. Instead, you're just signaling to your body that it's okay to sleep and it'll join you as soon as it's ready. It's so important to stay off your phone late at night and certainly in bed. First of all, phones emit blue light, which alters the circadian rhythm and delays the onset of melatonin. You can use night shift and blue light filters, blue light glasses. Those things will help somewhat, but they don't do the whole job. But more important, your phone really signals all the activity of the day. And we really need an off ramp at the end of the day to signal that it's time to slow down and let the brain kind of cool off before we ask it to sleep. If you're really struggling with your sleep and these tips don't hack it for you, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. There are all kinds of treatments available to help you and everybody deserves a good night's sleep.